A pair of remote-controlled robots entered a reactor building at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant on Sunday morning for the first time. The American-made iRobot PackBots are shown here entering the plant's number three reactor building through the second of a pair of doors. They were due to take radiation and temperature readings and are equipped with video cameras that can provide a live feed to operators. Tokyo Electric Power, which owns the plant, has yet to release any information about what the robots found inside. Parts of the building are hazardous for workers to enter because of radiation levels. But if their mission proves a success, the robots will also be used inside the adjacent reactor buildings 1 and 2. The iRobot packbots are designed for use in hazardous environments. More than 3,000 of the robots have been supplied to military and civilian customers, which use them in applications such as bomb diffusing. TEPCO has been wrestling to bring the nuclear power plant under control for just over a month since a 14-meter tsunami, shown here, slammed into the facility. Workers initially braved high levels of radiation to prevent an even larger disaster, but their time on site was strictly limited by the radiation levels. Machinery faces no such restrictions. A remote control excavator and transporter are being used to clear debris around the plant and an unmanned helicopter is being employed to shoot video of the outside and upper areas of the reactor buildings. This is the latest video released, shot on Friday. The robots that entered on Sunday will give plant operators their first look at the interior of the reactor building's lower levels. In Tokyo, this is Martin Williams, IDG News Service.